What's happening, YouTube? What's going on with you? Coming back with another one. Coming back with another video. Shit, why? I don't know. Maybe YouTube, just my diary. Come on here to vent about certain things. Don't really try to get too personal because you got crazy some bitches all over the world. <laughs> Online and offline. YouTube is my diary. But anyways, you know, I have many enemies. I have many enemies in the world. So I be so I find myself being stressed. But not too often, but you know, stress comes. Because there's a lot of things that in my life that I got to deal with. You know, trying to be a responsible person. Living life as a man. A whole lot of responsibility come with that, especially if you're a black man, a Negro man living in America. You have so many enemies, so many motherfucking enemies that's trying to take you out, that's trying to, you know, uh, infiltrate your circle, your inner circle. Trying to infiltrate your marriage, trying to infiltrate your family and just destroy it. Have enemies all over. Enemies that don't look like you, enemies that look like you, enemies that share the same bloodline as you. Enemies all over. And they cause stress within people. And as you look in the world today, there's not too many smiles on people's faces. I don't give a damn what color you are or what race you belong to. You don't really see too many happy people because of stress, because of enemies, because of the system, family members, some shit that you've seen on the television that might have made you upset that day, stressed you out, some shit you heard on the radio. enemies and evil all around me. <laughs> Man, you never stop working. You know. <laughs> never stop. Even though you punch the man's clock from 9 to 5 on this um, job, making a wage as a living to take or to provide for your family, that's a job. Then there's another job away from that job. Seem like you never rest. Watching out for snakes and potholes in this life that we live. It's hard. It is truly hard living this life. But when the joy comes, you find glory when you're having a good time to relieve that stress. Joy comes. In the midst of our struggles and our trials and our stress. Because there's so much evil out here. 
so much trials and temptation and sins. Hard to trust anyone. It's hard to give your heart to anyone. It's hard to give your heart to the person that you love because it's hard to trust them. You know, people make promises that they can't keep. It's hard to give a heart to a person, you know, because they can die at any moment. You know, you give your heart, you give your all to this loved one, to your family member, to your child or your mother or your father or your brother, any relative that you're close to, and you give your heart to this person. I'm not saying not to love anyone. But when you put your trust and your all into this individual, and they hurt you, when they deceive you, when they double cross you, even when that person dropped dead, you know, because death is guaranteed to all of us. It hurts. This is the life that we live. Life is a... Life's a bitch. But as I said, when the good times come, you know, it, it's a joy. You know, I hear preachers talking about, you know, a hell in the afterlife. I'm not saying they're wrong, but what about the hell that we already living in? <laughs> this is hell. You got niggas selling out, selling their soul for money and fame and riches and trinkets and um, just to have a name in this world that we live. Doing all manner of evil shit, even creating enemies, you know, creating enemies along the way to gain a little fame and a little prestige. Bringing the, 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 the morality of the family down along the way. Some people just tear you down and bring you down. Enemies all around me. Some that look like me, some that don't look like me. And my main enemy is the system. That governs me. That taxes me. That robs me. Strong arm me and other people that are labeled citizens rob us on the daily and we allow it our number one enemy you seen the movie enemy of the state even though they were chasing one man <laughs> in the movie but we are all all of us each and every last one of us are enemies of the state. Especially if you look like me, it's more of a double trouble. It's enemies all around me. The ones that look like me and the ones that don't look like me. But the ones that look like me are more of a threat, are more of an enemy than anything. When you tell me you love me, when you don't. Because if you love me, you wouldn't try to fuck me over. And that's real shit.